Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to share about run length encoding method. This method is a simple form of lossless data compression. It works by identifying and storing sequences of repeated data values as a single value and account, rather than storing each occurrence individually. So this technique is particularly effective for data that contains many such runs like simple graphic images or text with repeated characters. Some of you are not quite clear about this method, so I'd like to discuss it here. Now, in, uh, first of all, we need to identify the uh, sequences of repeated data values. For example, let me give you, uh, suppose a given data is uh, one zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one one zero 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 one 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 for example like this okay now we first need to determine how many bits we need to use to represent a rung or a group of the same bits in the data. Suppose, as in our assignment, we will use three bits to represent the length of a group or number of bits in a group. With three bits, we can represent at most eight at most eight values. That is zero 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 which is one or which is zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero and one 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 right eight values in this mode they are zero one two three four five six and seven three bits cannot represent more a uh, bigger um, number right so it cannot represent more than seven bits in a group or in a row now with three bits we represent the groups or rounds in the given data so for the given data the first group has only one one that is one one The second group has three zeros, and the third has three ones. And the fourth group has how many zero? Nine. Nine. Sorry. Nine zeros. And the next group has two ones, and the next has three zeros. And the last group has nine ones, right? So nine ones. How to represent them? Using three bits for the group, we know that we can represent up to, uh, at most seven bits in a group. So here, the line zero, we have to divide it into two groups, into two rounds, right? So the nine zeros can be divided into
nine zeros will become uh, seven zeros and the two zeros, right? So the total is still nine zeros. And also there is the line ones. For line ones, we divide it into seven ones and uh, two ones. You may say, why not divide into other kind of two groups? For example, um, five zeros and four zeros for the nine zeros. That means you want to divide it into five zeros and four zeros. Is that OK? Sure, that's OK. Because you can also use three bits RLE to represent it. However, we always try to make a full group that is seven bits in your group first. OK, that is more efficient. So we will adopt the method divide nine zeros to be seven zeros and two zeros. So now the given data will become what? One, two, three, zeros, three, ones seven zeros two zeros okay and then two one three zeros and then the last will become seven ones and two ones right so for this division. Now we can use RLE to represent it, right? For one ones, we know that one is a bit of the group. One ones, one ones, one one, here one should be zero zero one. As we see that with three bits, one is this. Right, and then three zeros, the bit is zero, and we need to have three. Three is zero one one, so it's zero one one, and then three ones, bit is one, and the value is zero one one, and then seven zeros, the bit is zero, and the number of bit is seven, that is one, one, one. And then two zero, the bit is zero. And the number of bit is zero, one, zero, that is two. And then two one, so the bit is one. And number two, zero, one, zero. Three zero, bit is zero. And then three, zero, one, one. Seven one, the bit is one, and number is seven, one, one, one. And two one, bit is one, and the number of bit is two, zero, one, zero, right? So what is the compression? We can see that this, how many bits this given data has? The given data has, uh, Eight bit, eight bit, eight bit, and, and here's six bit. So it has one, two, three, twenty-four plus six, and 
it has 30 bits, right? And how many bits, how many bits the ILE code has? It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 36. 36 bits. So the compression ratio will be 36. The result resulting bit divided by 30. And it is how much? 1.2. 1 1.2 or 120, right? So that means ILE is not good for compressing the given data because it is actually longer than the given data. However, if the given data has more groups of very long a string of zeros or ones, then this can be, uh, this method that can be much better. RLE can be much better. Okay, so this is about the RLE in our assignment. I hope this helps you. If you have a, a further question, please don't hesitate to send me uh, a message or text message. Thank you for watching. Bye.